<laughs> Here we go then. Um, some of you, one of you, my regular viewer, <coughs> will be aware of a firm called ProServe Enforcement Solutions, uh, who are parking bailiffs <coughs> down at the docks at Felixstowe. Now, this is not a job I do anymore. I should, I should stay. I'm, I'm doing different work now. Um, but they had me for illegal parking and promptly issued me with a £300 fine. <laughs> uh, £180 if payable within 14 days. Um, if you watch ProServe Enforcement Solutions videos 1 and 2 on my YouTube channel, you'll know that they're completely illegally uh, charging these, these, these bills, you know, for various reasons. However, uh, am I, am my duty as an upstanding citizen, I, I duly complained to the uh, Cambridgeshire County Court. Um, who issue all the bailiff licenses and I got a letter back today which was amazing because for those of you who follow the council case I did complain about the uh, HDC council bailiffs and never did get a reply so there you go that's interesting um, obviously they couldn't be bothered answering that one or maybe they just didn't get a letter of course uh, anyway so here we are you can see the well not much on it so I'll just hold that up there. I'm sure you can read that. I so say there's not much to it. So Stephen Duff is the the bailiff who's in charge of this pro service. He's, he's the managing director, you know. Um, and obviously this is his honour, Judge Yelton, who I'm sure will be getting a letter from me early next week. <laughs> So obviously no no action to be taken as that said there. Um, so basically, I was banned from the dock estate, uh, albeit temporarily before the police got involved and bloody blah blah blah, um, because of. Uh, and I'll quote Stephen Duff here as best I can remember. Um, the psychotic lingo which she uttered. Um, because of all them stuff you've been putting up on the internet. That's what I think he said to me. Um, something like that. Uh, so there you go. There, there's a, a judge who's fully endorsing um, vindictiveness, spiteful behaviour, uh, completely unprofessional behaviour, obviously, from, from someone who's supposed to be a certified bailiff. I mean, at that point, he he just banned me for that reason. So because I'd exposed the the illegal operation he had, he was going to ban me. Um, I mean, it, you know, this is this is quite serious in a way because I I do laugh and joke, but um, you know, he's he's basically he hands out these tickets. Um, the the Protection of Freedoms Act two thousand and twelve quite clearly states. On a couple of occasions within the within the, the written law, that a ticket must be issued on the day to the driver of the vehicle. Um, but all he does is he comes along with his little camera and he takes a few pictures, and then basically two weeks or a month later, he sends a letter to the owner of the vehicle. Um, no saying how he gets this information. I mean, they're supposed to go through DVLA, but I, I rather suspect he just Google's the information. So that's also illegal if it, if that's what he's doing, um, you know. And then he just takes a few pictures, and then you get this parking notice, this this enforcement. And if you don't pay it, you get banned from the docks estate. Well, again, I mean that that's just <laughs> you know that's just making up the law as you go along. But then uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, Judge Yelton, yes. Seems to agree with that behaviour. So there you go. There's an insight uh, also, not just um, about uh, 
bailiffs, parking wardens, whatever you want to call them. Um, but about the, the law and order in society today, really, which is, uh, again, what a lot of my videos, prior videos, um, on the Paul Lakers channel. Uh, Hard Harry TV. <laughs> As someone recently, I might change the name of the channel, actually, because I quite like that. Um, some of you will be aware of my, my page on Facebook, Hard Harry Hard On. Um, but yeah, this this is the kind of thing we get. Um, because as a matter of interest, uh, I complained about Huntingdonshire District Council bailiffs and never even got a reply, so there you go. And now this is obviously what you're supposed to get, is the reply through the post to your uh, query, inquiry, whatever, you know. So obviously my complaint against HTC bailiffs was completely buried. Um... And and then again, you know, you, you get this, which is obviously no action to be taken. And, uh, hello. Um, there's a judge fully approving of a bailiff uh, being spiteful, vindictive, completely unprofessional, uh, breaking the law on at least two counts, because let's not forget ProServe uh, never actually speak to anyone and ask them to leave the premises or park somewhere else. They just take pictures and then forward the, the letter to the owner of the vehicle. So, yeah, I so say I should be writing to, to Judge Elton tomorrow and I'll keep you updated on that because obviously, as I've mentioned, this encompasses more than one aspect of, of the judicial system. Um, but there you go, I'll be telling him about this channel. Judge Elton bought and paid for. <laughs> What else can you say, you know? It's it's just incredible. Um, I mean, a massive, massive disappointment, obviously, when that, when that turned up today. But, hey, you know, with these people, I've, I've only just started. So they can look forward to more. Anyway, thank you for watching.